So I want to give you some little hints and secrets of ways to use the Lux Water Effects Glaze. And so let's talk about this piece right here. Well, I'm thinking this is 24 by 36. It's quite large. And there's something I love about it. And at the same time, there's something to me that feels unfinished. Like it just needs something. So um, I want to show you what that something is going to be. So currently it has Lux Rose Gold metallic powder in it. That's what's giving it the shine. As you can see, this gold paint looks just pretty much like yellow. Um, but then when I added the Lux Rose Gold powder, it actually looks shiny. So that is always a trick that I have to use this. But when it comes to the water effects glaze, this particular one is in clear. We can do so many cool things. So here's one of them. We can add metallic powders. You can stir it right in. This one is just clear, but I'm giving you ideas. Um, especially metallic powders. This is rose gold. This is called golden glow. But this piece, I'm going to add this is genuine gemstones. They are, this is called lapis. And on this navy blue and rose gold piece, I thought, oh, this is gonna be amazing. So something you might not know about the water effects glaze is that it also can be used as an adherent, meaning I can put my gemstones or crushed mirror and it's gonna stick. You don't need to add anything else. So I thought for this, Piece, I would give it some added shine. By the way, clear your workspace out. So, um, by the way, these and these are the baby wipes that are amazing to have because I got just a spot on my hand and I don't know. So yeah, two tips. One, clear your workspace area. Have your items that you may or may not use off to the side, your napkins plus your baby wipes. Have everything off to the side, not in your way so you can move your body freely. I find that uh, Lux Fluid Art and probably any Fluid Art is like exercising, especially with a big piece. So we really need to make room for our bodies to move. If you guys have taken any of my courses, you'll know that I might have a few moments of silence because even in a demo, I'm putting my heart into this. So it requires me to pause and feel. That is gonna look amazing. And then it wraps around right there. So right now, it is just a little bit cloudy. That is normal. That's just how it's gonna come out of your bottle. And then it's gonna dry clear. So you're gonna see no cloudiness and only this beautiful design underneath and the shine. I love the idea of having a shine against a matte background. So I'm going to do this again and then now I'm going to figure out where I want to place the lapis. So this is so thick, which is how I, I like it on the thicker side. If you want it a little thinner, you can um, warm it up just a tad. Like just take a blow dryer to it for just 20 seconds. Um, well, it depends on your blow dryer, but you get my point. So because mine is so thick that I'm using, which I, I love it and I want it that way, um, if I don't quite get all the way to the end, and I can just go and, you know, pour a little, pour a little extra to take it off the edge. I'm not a crafter, but I am all about fine art and I'm also a perfectionist. And there we 
we go. I see a little bubble here. It's really rare actually for the glaze to get any kind of bubble. There it is. This is my highly advanced way of popping bubbles. This opens cans of varnish. <laughs> so I just go over here and say, see ya. Gone, gorgeous. Um, I have been using this for, gosh, since last year, and that was the first bubble I've seen. So that will let you know just how rare it is, but just pop it with anything for me. I just happen to have this nearby because of, uh, for varnishing, you know, those cans that you, those big metal cans. This is looking so cool. Okay. This is when we pause, take a second, or however many seconds you need, and contemplate where you want to add your embellishment. You know, whether it's the powders, um, gemstones, crushed mirror. Okay. So, I think I'm gonna run a bit of it through the middle, since the middle has a whole lot of um, blue down here looks pretty well balanced, but when I look over here, I see a lot of the navy going through here without a whole lot of anything else that's interesting. And then over here, we got a lot going on, but through this spot, it's saying, please help me. <laughs> I am a little bit pathetic right now. Um, okay. Again, I'm gonna be a little bit quiet for a second here, just so I can, uh, just so I can think on this. This is a weird, odd piece, so I'm gonna actually just hand place this one, because it's not gonna come out of the cup as well. And I just, oh, there's another. Let me just stick that one right there. Okay, here we go. bald spots, just grab a few with your fingers and do a little spacing. I like to pour it so it looks natural, but at the same time, I um, just want to make sure I don't have just these very obvious spots. So at this point, I'm just contemplating, and this is, this is an artist thing. You know, like this is all the lapis I have right now. So I do need to be wise in my placement. Um, so I'm just trying to decide where I want to use my final pieces. I think I will probably just connect it all the way to the end. My other thought was coming, getting glaze and having it come through here and then adding some more lapis over there. But when I'm looking at my quantity right now, I'm thinking, I'm just gonna do, we're just gonna finish this off right here, I think. And just go all the way. Okay, I wanna use these little spare pieces that I have to see if there's any bald spots. This one is sticking up kinda cute and silly-like. That needs to go down. Okay. This whole part, obviously it's all up to you. This is the artistic side to it. And my whole goal is not to say, hey, do it like this. It's to say, hey, did you know that the Lux Water Effects Glaze, whether it's shimmer or clear, doesn't matter, it will adhere your shells, your mirror, your glass, your whatever. Um, these pieces are maybe a quarter inch. This one's probably a half inch. It's pretty strong, this stuff. So you can put some real beauty in here. I'll just give you a quick view. And what I'll be doing, I don't think there's a need to show it to you on video, but um, I am gonna add a little more glaze going this way so it'll be wider and go thin. So we wanna think about balance, right? So it goes wide 
and then thin. And over here, I'm gonna do wide and then thin. Kind of balance that out. That thing over there, it's doing a little something crazy. That would be because my um, I'm a little bit off balance um, with what with what I've got this set on. So I'm gonna go in there and just use the actual bottle tip and draw in some more glaze right there so it doesn't look so abrupt because when I poured it, it didn't go and you know move like that. So welcome to the world of fluid art where it does its own thing and has its own mind. Anyways, this is coming together beautifully. Hope you guys enjoy experimenting. Um, let me know of all the neat things that you're doing. You can tag me. You can tag Win Modern Art and uh, would love to see your creations and some of them I'll choose to share on all our social media platforms. We have thousands of followers and uh, but I need you to tag me so I can even, you know, see, see your art and then I like to feature artists just for the fun of it. I think that we could all use a little more unity. So I like to share art with my fellow artists. And even though I do commissions, I like to send my customers your way. Maybe something you're doing it will speak to the souls of um, some of my customers and I am totally okay with that. I think it's, it's beautiful and great and so are you. So again, this is Victoria Wynn of winmodernart.com. If you wanna get in on the newsletter, just go to winmodernart.com and just fill out the super quick form with your email and name and we will get you on the list. You can learn about giveaways and promos and juicy sales. All right guys, thanks for joining me and pouring my soul onto canvas with you.